Certainly the, uh, the role of vitamin D is being uh, played up right now. So I think we could say that sunlight mm -hmm. is something that we should, in, in copious amounts, should be encouraging people to get without necessarily going to the, the uh, burning stage. Mm -hmm. But uh, if people can even let sunlight into their homes, a lot of times people will, will keep everything closed up and all the shades pulled and we don't want to ruin the furniture, we don't want to you know, have things to uh, be too bright. Mm -hmm. And so uh, because of that, uh, many times uh, the uh, sunlight doesn't ever actually get much into your household, yes. into your home. It'd be good if we can allow the sun to get into people's homes uh, and of course as much as we can do outside in the sun uh, would help us mm -hmm. to maintain that uh, immunity against the flu. Mm -hmm. And I guess really against all kinds of diseases, not just the flu. You could, you could point out um, uh, even cancers and all kinds mm -hmm. of things that are, you're less likely to have oh, yes. if you have more exposure to the sun. Yes. Um, Breast cancer, as an example. In moderation, uh, you know, certainly, but uh, more exposure, I guess you could say more incidences of exposure to the sun. And the, uh, the supplements of vitamin D are not as effective in protecting us in the ways that we need vitamin D to protect us as the sunlight itself. It's vitamin D that we manufacture in our own bodies from exposure to the sun. Now, you've just mentioned one of the laws of health, that of sunlight. Uh, what uh, part do you think that diet would have in giving you some immunity so that you can hold any virus at bay? Um, what kind of diet do you think is the best? What do you give your children? And uh, how, do you, how do you handle things in your own home? The best thing, I think, when it comes to diet is to try to have a diet that doesn't cause you to be dealing with the food with your immune system as much mm -hmm. uh, so, that it's, so that it's free to deal with um, other um, problems that may come along. So I guess you could say a diet that, is, um, that doesn't, cause any, uh, doesn't cause inflammation, a mm -hmm. uh, state of inflammation if you want to call mm -hmm. it that. So um, any food that you're allergic to, you, you should uh, try to eliminate certainly, that? Certainly, and, mm -hmm. and foods that are quite stimulatory so that they uh, might even cause a gastric upset or who knows what. You mean like sugar? Some of those are and, common. Uh, like uh, heavy fats? Certainly, certainly. And of course things like uh, Cokes? You know, uh, sometimes, uh, uh, perhaps you've had the experience too, uh, I'm guessing years ago anyway, that uh, you eat at a certain restaurant that uh, uses lots and lots of oil. It seems like the Chinese restaurants kind of fit into that category. And then you feel really quite ill after mm -hmm. the, afterwards. Just too much oil mm -hmm. um, for us to handle. And certainly we, we don't need that much. Um, we do need uh, fats in our mm -hmm. diet, but we don't need that much. Mm -hmm. The problem with Americans, it seems like we get plenty of, we don't have to worry too much about starving to death no. in this country, and so we get really too much. Yeah. And uh, much that's where we much. need to be, need to be uh, watching. I think probably if you could say one single thing that Americans especially, but even any, um, any Westerners uh, have to watch for is, is that we just eat way too much. Mm -hmm. And so if we're talking about trying to um, prevent uh, the flu or any kind of um, uh, seasonal problem that may come along, colds and that type of thing. I think just eating too much mm -hmm. uh, falls into the category that, of, of things that we could, we could just do simply to prevent some of these things. We just mm -hmm. need to watch how much we're eating, especially if we know if it's, if it's the time of the year, the time of the season when, when these types of things are going to be coming around, then maybe it's time to be especially careful mm -hmm. that we don't. And unfortunately, it seems like those are the times when we get together and eat a lot, like Thanksgiving and oh, Christmas yes. and those times when, when yeah. people are together and there's a lot of colds and flus going around and then yes. we just gorge ourselves and put a lot of stress and on our bodies. And especially if it's cold weather, everybody closes the windows down, no circulation inside the house. And uh, what we don't uh, point out to people as much, I think, as we should, is that just having circulation of fresh air in the home is a good way to help you to have resistance against getting a viral infection. No so we've mentioned food, fresh air, and uh, sunshine. Well, you know, we didn't really go into a whole lot of detail about food, but we, we mm -hmm. recommend here a vegan diet. You ask what kind of diet do uh -huh. I serve in vegan my home? Meaning we don't serve animal products. Animal products. Uh, 
and I'll, I, I believe that uh, somebody in our home uses honey. I don't use it uh, just uh -huh. because I'm not real crazy about the sweet things. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, I've raised my kids on a, on a totally vegetarian diet. Yeah, and, they must be puny and skinny. Oh, and... Uh, you know, I wish I could show you the pictures. <laughs> you know, um, people will see them and, and, and definitely you can tell they're not wasting away yeah. by any means. <laughs> When my grandchildren, when your children were very small, I'd have them in my hands and I'd say, in my arms, and I'd say, this is a vegan child. Right. <laughs> they aren't skinny. They no. aren't <laughs> no, 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 no. nice and plump. Yeah. Um, but not too, not too fat, and that's the thing. I think there's a, a regulatory, uh, uh, something that really helps is that we tend to, to eat more things in a more natural state, uh, now, quite a bit raw. If I go down to a local restaurant, I can get uh, potato chips and french fries, and I can get um, a, uh, a sugary sweet dessert, very nice, which I like, of course, very much. I love sweets, it's my favorite part of the meal. And I get, um, in a good southern restaurant, I will get uh, some, let's say, some string beans with um, some nice uh, pork chips or at least some butter floating mm -hmm. around on the top. Yep. And uh, that's vegan if I leave off the pork chips. Right. All that is vegan. Mm -hmm. uh, you, would you be satisfied with that in your home? <laughs> well, uh, so I suppose just, that perhaps, just perhaps saying it vegan. might be better. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you would have to kind of qualify that a little bit. Yes. It is true uh, that you can be vegetarian and still be quite unhealthful. And so it's so simple, so easy to, to really overdo it with the, with the refined um, things that, that are more concentrated. But I was going to ask you, you know, you, you mentioned about going to a restaurant and maybe you could get a few things that uh, might um, make your blood sugar go high. And I was wondering if that would have any effect on, uh, you know, having more sugar available in the, in the blood, so to speak, if that would really have any effect on, on whether a person could be more effective in fighting off... Um, the swine flu, if, mm. if they came into contact with it. Two things is, number one is, for every five teaspoons of sugar that we take in, we reduce the effectiveness of the cellular immunity, that's our white blood cells, that's our uh, ability to produce antibodies. We reduce that by about uh, 10%, uh, so right. that if you, uh, ordinarily, one of our white blood cells can kill 14 germs, in half an hour. If you eat uh, five teaspoons of sugar, your uh, white blood cells can only eat 10 germs in half an hour. Oh, that's and so now that's, it's a good thing that that's just the cellular immunity. We have other types of immunity such as the dryness of the skin, the acidity of the stomach, the little bit of antibacterial or antiseptic substance in tears and in nasal secretions and so forth. All of these also help us, or many of, many of our human population would be dead from their vegan diet. Mm. Uh, even though you might uh, just have uh, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and nuts and seeds, you've piled so much uh, unhealthful stuff on it that it makes it so that it's very, uh, your, uh, your resistance against disease is not very great. Mm. Now, there's another thing that people should know about uh, keeping the immune system in good functioning order. And one of those is how much water we drink. We need to be well hydrated so that our blood can carry nicely and the circulation will be brisk. Maybe we should have a glass here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be good. Yep. And uh, that, uh, it's very important for us not to get dehydrated. That's not just for the immunity but that's also for such things as cataracts and bladder cancer mm -hmm. and uh, breast cancer and other things. We need to stay well hydrated. And the more you talk, the more you need, I guess. That's right. For every hour of talking, you need one eight ounce glass of water to compensate for that. <laughs>